What's up guys, today let's take a look at this beautiful and perfectly timed head and arm guillotine escape performed by Gordon Ryan against Philip Rowe. So first of all, this is not your regular arming guillotine where the trapped arm is on the outside. This is a head and arm choke, right? The biceps cutting one side of the neck and the shoulder cutting the other side of the neck. Usually this choke is performed with one leg across the stomach and the other around the back which is gonna dictate the direction of the escape since there is a gap between his knee and his heel here. And that's exactly what Gordon Ryan did. Let's take a look here. Philip throws this reverse seat belt grip trapping Gordon Ryan's arm. And he's gonna sit through with his shin across Gordon Ryan's stomach and throw his left leg around Gordon's back. So the idea here is if Gordon Ryan could jump here to this side, he would land inside control negating the angle of the choke. He's a little bit late here on purpose or not because this is a exhibition match but as soon as he feels that Philip is throwing that leg around his back he's gonna block Philip's leg here to maintain the gap as Philip is gonna throw his leg around his back. Now look what Gordon is gonna do. He's gonna fall to his side here still controlling Philip's leg so Philip doesn't land in the top mount position here. See Gordon's hand here pushing his leg up, also connecting his hand to his knee, preventing, creating a nice structure there, preventing Philip from dropping his knee down into the mount position. He's gonna keep rolling and pushing Philip's leg until they are basically back into the same position. But now Gordon has the opportunity to jump around and over Philip's leg there. Otherwise, he's gonna get caught in the same cycle. Philip's gonna throw this leg around his back again. With perfect technique and timing, he's gonna jump over this leg. Look at that. Beautifully done by Gordon Ryan. And now, Philip does a good job by bridging and turning to his knees, not allowing Gordon to establish top side control and going back to a front headlock position here. Beautifully done by Gordon Ryan. 